And so I was having a drink last year with a friend, and we were talking about how do you inspire people? How do you get people to talk again? How do you drive the conversation back? Obviously, we've got a lot of problems to take care of right here on this planet, but one of the beautiful things about space flight is it's, it's all of us working together. Those rockets don't go anywhere um, unless you have hundreds or thousands of people doing kicking ass at their jobs. Um, and we were trying to think of an image, something to sort of shock people into looking and thinking um, about this again. Um, what we came up with was a red sports car um, and, uh, and a David Bowie song. Uh, my friend Elon, who's with us here today. We got room. Yes, we got room. <laughs> no, we love you. There's a large mission, and uh, I'd love if you could talk a little bit about it. Yeah, sure. I'll <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Yeah. So, as as Jonah was alluding to, there there are a lot of negative things in the world. There's a lot of terrible things that are happening all over the world all the time. Uh, there are lots of problems that need to get solved. There's lots of things that are, yeah, that are miserable and kind of get you down. But that life cannot just be about solving one miserable problem after another. Can't, that can't be the only thing. There need to be, there need to be things that inspire you, that make you glad to, be, to wake up in the morning and be part of humanity. That's why we did this. A guy called Tsiolkovsky, one of the early Russian rocket scientists, the great saying, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but you cannot stay in the cradle forever. It is time to go forth, become a star-faring civilization, be out there among the stars, expand the scope and scale of human consciousness. I, I find that incredibly exciting. That, that makes me glad to be alive. I hope you feel the same way. So, I had the privilege of being down with Elon at launch control for the Falcon Heavy launch. Um, and there was an incredible spirit there on the day. Uh, it felt uh, extraordinary, thinking about all the people who'd contributed to, to, to putting this together. Uh, and the spirit of it, and something that you haven't, I haven't felt in an, in an awfully long time. We try to distill that essence okay. down, um, try to record it and capture it and spread it in a way, in hopes of making people feel a little bit of that, of what we felt on the day. Um, the only way I know how to express it, we cut a trailer. Um, it's not a trailer for a movie, it's not a trailer for a TV show. What we're hoping this is is a trailer for one part of the next chapter of the human story. <laughs> Her mommy is yelling no And her daddy has told her to go But her friend is nowhere to be seen Now she walks through her sunken dream To the seat with the clearest view And she's hooked to the silver screen But the film is a sad thing for but she's lived it ten times or more She could spit in the eyes of fools If they ask her to focus on singles Fighting in the dance hall Oh man, look at those gay men go It's the freaking show Take a look at the Is their life on Mars?
Thank you.